So now I'm just going to show some of the configuration that can be done with this unit uh, if you want to customize it or tweak it a bit. Now out of the box it uh, ships with bright blue LEDs here and in my case uh, if I, you probably can't see anything but if I turn the, the lights on I get kind of a muted uh, red glow to my dash so I made the uh, the lights more or less match that and it's quite cool because you can tweak it uh, you've got a lot of control there um, so that's one one nice feature so let's see if we go into um, the source setup I'm assuming that stands for source uh, we get a few options I'm going to go over quickly some of the more interesting ones under system um, you can this here touch just calibrates the resistive uh, touch screen uh, user interface gives you a few options. Um, there's a beep when you say switch modes and stuff like that. You can shut that off if you don't like it. Um, I don't have a remote, so I'm not sure why I even have that on actually. Uh, you can change the language if you don't speak English. Uh, set the text scrolling. This drawer closes pertaining to this uh, little thing up here. It gives you quick access to uh, um, a few configuration dialogues and, and the last uh, interface uh, for music you were using. So you can just set that to close. Um, now this audio key here, normally that takes you into your equalizer setup. I'm not really sure why you need a whole key on the front of the device just for that, but uh, you can set that to either show the camera or to turn the display off. So, uh, for example, now the display is off. That seems like a pointless feature, but on the other hand, what I'm finding is that at night time, this screen is really bright. Um, you can see here if I uh, turn the lights on, oh, sorry, I don't have it configured that way right now. Uh, if, it, if I turn the lights on, it does dim. Um, I have it set currently so that it'll actually dim at the time of sunset based on the, the GPS data. But um, the screen doesn't really go that dark. If you set it to its dimmest setting, um, it will uh, still be really quite bright. I'm just going to... Uh, uh, go find that setting for the uh, for the screen. So under that would be under the display. So we've got a few things here. Um, now I can change the uh, the settings of the screen uh, and the dimmer. So in my case, I'll, I'll turn that on to the, uh, uh, it's just forced on. You can obviously, you can set it so that uh, uh, it's synced with the lights like that. So, um, and as you can see, I, I think, hopefully you can see this, the, this is the dimmest it possibly can go. And this is the brightest. And there's not that big of a difference. I think the screen is plenty bright, but it doesn't go dim enough uh, because it's a little bit blinding at night uh, when you're driving in the dark. You've just got this huge screen on, and again, that's uh, probably why this button's there. Because if you just you want it, you can play the music, and you can still get uh, the audio from your nav without having the, the screen blinding you. But it would be nice if you could just make the uh, the screen a little darker somehow. Um, in any case, uh, I'll put that back on nav sync, so it'll just uh, it'll actually dim itself when the sun sets, which is pretty soon actually. Um, so. Uh, okay, I'll change it to that so it doesn't dim on me when I'm recording. Okay.